So, the latter, as tall and menacing as Mount Everest, the upper half fades into the clouds until it disappears. And it is clear, many have climbed, hence the pile of corpses, that either were claimed by the latter or forfeit. Either way, they eventually failed and fell off, but my determination is barred none, and plans well thought. I hear the rattling from the pile of skeletons as I approach the ladder's base, basically basing my future off this one try, off this one take. Hope I don't fall, if it came too long of a way, the ladder. Cold to the touch, made out of silver, and it's coincidental, because accomplishing my goal is a must, and as the wind thrusts, time passes slower than an eternity in hell. And before I know it, I look down and all I see is clouds. Hard to inhale because at this altitude there's almost no oxygen. But fuck my lungs, I've came too far to get stopped again. I reached elbow deep down my throat and threw my lungs at the descending sun. My shriek of pain was one saying that this ladder is mine. To be heard by anyone and everyone. The ladder. I kept climbing. Hours turned days, days turned to months, months to years, years, millenniums. I cried out for help like, please, anyone. Hoping someone to hear. And as my pace slows, I realize the ladder is not meant to be conquered. It's a setup to kill us and to make it seem self-imposed. And I suppose my fate was no greater than the next. No greater than the best. And I look up one last time, I see them. The owners of this ladder, up top smiling. Waving as I slip and I fall. Seems that the ladder was too big, too tall. The Light of Success, Part 1.